feel a great regard for trees. They represent age and beauty and the miracles of life and growth, as quoted by Louise Dickinson Rich. The tree repurposing project was taken on for a few reasons. First off, myself and council, along with the flood team, we're, we were very concerned about the trees and the impact of the trees. And we made every effort to find ways to build these berms you know, to protect the community without impacting many trees. As you know, we have to remove trees from Midland and Newcastle and downtown. And, and all of that was, was very difficult decisions. And when this group of residents came forward and come up with this new repurposing project, it was so exciting because it is sad. It is sad to, to watch these trees go down. However, when you can see the fact that, that we can repurpose them and, and come up with great ways to, to honor their legacy and honor the life of these trees, I was just so excited that, that these individuals came forward. The tree repurposing projects, plans for the trees and what they want to do is all involved in creating statues, creating carvings, benches, natural playgrounds, all kinds of different things that we can actually do with these trees. And what they've done is they've gone out and they've tagged certain trees that they feel will be beneficial to making all of these things kind of come to life. And the initial stages are in happening right now. And what they've got is some really great ideas for all this, having events, celebrating the trees. We, in fact, we're looking at bringing the Carver Kings in. They've had an incredible show on TV about all different things that they make with trees. So we're looking at getting them involved. There's an online survey, so we're asking residents to check in that, give their input, give their, their ideas. We'll be looking for carvers, we'll be looking for artists, we're looking for vendors. So yes, it's on the flood.readinessweb.ca website. So check it out because the more input we get, the, the more we can make the celebration of the life of these trees important and have a legacy for them. The flood team came up with a really good plan and the council loved it. It's a five to one ratio. So for every good to fair tree that goes, that is removed, we will replace it with another tree, shrub, something that can enhance the environment and the, and the ecological health of the community and the area because we want to look after those, those areas and make sure that they are constantly looked after for the future. Wildlife was a high importance to the flood team and to council when, when we knew that we had to remove these trees. So we had biologists come in and they did owl sweeps for the owl's nest. They did animal den sweeps. They did, you know, the specific animal creatures that have environments that need to be looked after. They went and made sure that all of this stuff was looked after before they ever even went near the trees. So very proud of the flood team that they took all those extra efforts to make sure that, uh, that our ecological system and our environment is looked after. You know, the, the tree repurposing project, I'm so excited about it because it came from the people, it came from the residents, it came, those gentlemen came forward and had these great ideas. They were passionate, as many of us are about the trees in the valley, and they wanted to find a way to reuse and repurpose the trees and to create a legacy and a life and honor these trees. And I'm so excited that the initiative came directly from the people, council got on board, we're so supportive of it. And it's just exciting that although we have to look at something that has to come down, we're actually regaining and, and honoring the life of that, those trees. So I'm super excited about it.